Welcome back, everybody. Your host, AMF 1534, here. And let's play some more Amnesia The Dark Descent. Last time, we made it to the storage room, even though this one is much less threatening than the last one. And there are some less than friendly fellows down here that don't really wish good things upon my life. So, we need to be very, very careful when walking around down here. For reasons like that. Shit. Okay. We're gonna go hide for a moment, because I'm pretty sure that he saw me. I severely hope not. Keep your sanity, man. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. You can do it. Or you can go hide in here and regain it for a second. There you go. Good man. I'm definitely not a very large fan of that music, because that means bad shit. That means some seriously bad juju's going on. But it looks like we're no worse for the wear. So, we can travel back up here. Hopefully he didn't come after us. Which he didn't. But that means that he's wandering around elsewhere now, which doesn't really mean anything better. So let's be very careful when traversing these muddy waters. And yes, I'm keeping my lantern off for a certain reason. And that reason is preserving my life, even though I did just turn it back on. I just don't trust what's going on around here. We were just in the kitchen moments ago. You do have to understand, I'm doing the bare minimum with my lantern. And I understand it's very hard for you guys to see, and I'm doing the very best I can with it. There's lots of flies over here. Does that mean that somebody died or something? Or what? What does it all mean, Basil? Ooh. Basement action. Not going to be part of my regimen for a little while. I do have a couple of t tinder boxes to my availability. Uh, there's a couple of doors here. A couple, three of them. I don't want to feel comfortable with any of Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! I believe this. Why? I mean, why? So you deserve this. I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault! I didn't have to go in there. Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. He went into a burning house. But why? Why in God's name would you go into a burning house? Unless you're... I mean, if you're saving somebody, that's one thing. But if you're not, what the hell are you doing in there? Okay, please don't let there be somebody right there. Okay. Let's put them as harmless as it can be for now. Ooh, whoa! There's a dead dude in here! What the hell happened to him? Jesus, penis. Well, nothing I can do about that. Oh, yeah. That's just not good. Tisk tisk. That guy got worked, man. He is a bloody mess. Okay. I'm not gonna hang around for that. That's just not cool. Let's go this way. Another open room. With another note on the floor. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, 
you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Ah, he's gonna try to negotiate now. He's he's big man on campus all of a sudden. Well, I personally do not approve that message. I think it's uh Wow. Mean spirited brings the whole group down. Yeah. Fuck. Another person hanging around. Are you, little bastard? You're obviously around here somewhere. Where be you? You be here somewhere. I'm gonna go in the room with the dead guy to hide out for a minute. God, I hate these fucking dudes or whatever you want to call them. are. Like some failed experiments or something. I mean, one way or the other, we're going to find out exactly what these things are. Unfortunately, I usually do not enjoy how we find out what these things are. Fucking creepy as all hell looking. I don't appreciate it. circle. I believe that we have. Now, I wonder. I feel like we need to go back to the kitchen. For some reason. That I can't readily explain. But, do you remember that bottle? Or not the bottle, but like that huge vat of acid that was in the kitchen? Well, I do. And I feel like we have some sort of remote business there. Now that we have a big glass container. I have a very remote feeling that that may help. Provided that we can get there without getting our asses kicked in. Or, you know, eaten off or, you know, you name it. Wrong button. Let's try the Yes! The glass jar holds the acid safely. Which is all I really wanted in the beginning. Fuck! I'm ready to run if I must. Oh. He's gonna walk away like a little bitch. He can't handle it. Don't turn around. Yeah, you keep walking. I really wish I could totally just like, you know, put this surgical needle right in his fucking head. But I don't think that's how this game works. As much as I would love it to. I have a very random idea on what I think I can use this on. And by that I mean the jar of acid. He's just gonna meander away there for a minute and I think I'll let him. I'd much rather he go, you know, do his shit than ruin mine. Okay. He walked away for the moment. And while he does his business, I'm gonna do mine very, very slowly. And I need to safely get all the way back to where that little, that little iron gate thing in the floor was. This is purely, purely going to be for scientific exper uh, experimentation. He's totally going to be right there. I 
probably shouldn't have just let him walk away like that. So he's going to pop up somewhere. Either that or he walked inside of the wall. I don't know which one's going to come first, but he did something. I don't like how dark all this shit got all of a sudden. For some reason, I vaguely remember there being some type of lighting fixture down here. Maybe not. Which side has some lighting? <laughs> Neither. Great. We'll go this way. There is some lighting over here. That seems to be the safer alternative at the very moment. I wonder if I can't erode this off. Now, my question is that there was a door with a very strong padlock on it, if I remember correctly. I wonder if I can't use this acid solution to find a way around it. Do you think? Ooh. Let's just uh, explore a wee bit. What happened to her? Ah! Wrong button. I don't want to be running around down here. I'd love to know what happened to her, but... Who's to know? It's in a very poor condition. As in, like, poor enough to be destroyed by acid? Damn right. about this. Oh yeah. God, let me open the damn thing. Ooh! Oh shit. Yep, we're going to the cistern. Right now. The morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle. A faint memory of reflections in the window pane repeated itself over and over. Oh boy. Yikes. Okay. First of all, before I say anything, do you find it weird that this nice of a door was just kind of chilling down in the middle of a prison? Uh, maybe it's just me, whatever. Anyways, so, we have reached the cistern. What exactly is in here? Looks like it's very leaky. Baron might want to get that fixed. Anyways, stick around. For the next episode of Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent, and we'll explore. So you used the drain sewers as a means to transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring, and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we weren't using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal. And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Ooh, poisonous shit. That sounds just lovely. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.